Where are all the deer? Have you ever asked yourself that question and wondered if you need to move or go hunt out of state? Does it seem like your out of state friends fill way more tags than you do? Well, I've got some answers for you. Like you, I wanted to know where all the deer are. After all, there's over 37 million deer in the United States and it sure seems like some people see a lot more than others. So I did some research and now I can let you know where your best shot at taking a shot is this season. We're going to go by a region, starting with the region with the lowest overall deer population. I'm not going to be able to cover all 50 states verbatim in this video, it would wind up being an hour long. We'll hit the top states for each region, but if you want to know something more about one of the states that doesn't make the top few spots for each region, just pause the video. I'll have some really helpful charts up on the screen showing deer population and density per square mile for every single state. And for clarity's sake, what I mean by region is US Census region. Also, this data encompasses all deer species, white tail, mule deer, black tail, everything. But you can use a little bit of logic by state to sort of inference what species we're talking about. All right, here we go. The region with the least population of deer is the Northeast. The Northeast has approximately 10% of the national deer herd with 3.6 million deer. Now this may seem surprising due to the strong deer hunting culture in states like Maine, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and definitely Pennsylvania, but when you look at a map, this region is geographically quite small, so it sort of makes sense that there's not overall a huge population. But that doesn't necessarily mean we don't have some states and areas with good deer density and therefore good hunting. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this chart. All right, so looking at the chart, green states have 20 or more deer per square mile, yellow states have 10 to 19 deer per square mile, and the red states have less than 10 deer per square mile. So those are gonna be your tough hunting places. All right, starting at the top, Pennsylvania and New York come up way up top in terms of deer density, and both happen to have the most deer overall with over a million each. Now these are the only two states with green lights, we'll call it, as far as the color coding goes for deer density, which is kind of logical when we think about how New York and Pennsylvania both have a lot of farmland, a lot of forest, basically just great habitat for deer. Now Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine are known for big body deer, but not a whole heck of a lot of them. It's well known hunting in those states can be challenging. Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine have harsh winters and not a whole heck of a lot of natural food for deer, at least not to support a large population. Now the rest of the states in the Northeast are geographically small and have a lot of human settlement. Nevertheless, deer densities aren't horrible, they're just not great. So if you can zero in on where deer are in those particular states, you've still got a good chance of filling a tag. All right, so once again, your highest deer population and density in the Northeast belong to the states of Pennsylvania and New York. Pennsylvania's got one and a half million deer and 33 deer per square mile. New York has 1.2 million deer and 22 deer per square mile. Now your lowest population in the Northeast actually belongs to the state of Rhode Island, but it's really, really small. It's only got 18,000 deer, but it's actually got 12 deer per square mile, which isn't that bad. Your lowest densities in the Northeast are Maine and Massachusetts with eight deer and nine deer respectively per square mile. So those are gonna be your tough hunts. And this chart actually isn't that bad compared to the one we're gonna look at next, which is the West. All right, the West looks like a big old red stop sign. Red everywhere except Hawaii, interestingly enough. And a quick note on that, all the deer in Hawaii are invasive species. They're either axis deer or black tail deer, so I don't know, count it if you want or don't if you don't. Despite the low deer densities out west, we have to remember it's a different kind of hunting out there. The terrain is much more open. Typically, it's spot and stalk, spotting scope, find the deer, go after them. So even though the deer densities by state aren't all that great, that doesn't mean you don't have a good chance at filling a tag. The west suffers from poor habitat to support large deer populations. It's mostly arid or semi-arid. The winters can be very, very harsh. So it sort of makes sense that we don't have a very large deer population or density in any of the states. Now your best bet at filling a tag out west is probably Idaho with nine deer per square mile. And Idaho has both whitetail and mule deer, so you've got a good mixed bag there. And also keep in mind, do your homework when looking at any individual specific state because certain parts of the state are gonna harbor a lot more deer than others. And the west comes in with a total of 4.4 million deer overall across all the states. Uh, the lowest population is actually in Nevada, which is 90,000 deer for the entire state. It's got about one deer per square mile. There's actually several states with one or less deer per square mile. That's Nevada, New Mexico, and Arizona, and Alaska. Alaska is kind of interesting, but you got to remember 
most of interior Alaska is a bit harsh and there's not actually deer there. All your blacktail deer are along the coast. You move inland, you've got your grizzly bears, caribou, moose, stuff like that. Not really deer. And then again, as far as your best bets in the West for deer, it's going to be Idaho at nine deer per square mile. And then Hawaii, if you want to go out there and just kill everything because it's all invasive anyway with your axis deer and blacktail deer. And I bet a lot of you have been waiting to see the numbers for the Midwest. Everyone knows the Midwest is big time whitetail hunting. But actually first, we gotta pay the bills. If you're getting value out of this video and you wanna see more like it, the single biggest thing you can do to help out the channel is to visit my website, masonleather.com. I've been hand making leather gear for hunters for going on a decade, and I would love to make you something. Now here's a quick like seven second promo. Check out my leather shop if you'd like something handmade by me, just for you. The link is in the pinned comment. I'd love to make you something. Thanks for watching. All right, on to the Midwest. All right, this is a nice change. The Midwest has a lot more deer and a lot more deer density. Interestingly, the three states with the most deer also have the most deer density. That's Michigan, Wisconsin, and Missouri. Each one of those three states has over 20 deer per square mile. Missouri's got 20 per square mile, Wisconsin 24, and Michigan with 21 deer per square mile. Minnesota, Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois are also pretty good, and we know some real brutes come out of those states. Now, Kansas, Iowa, and Nebraska are interesting, as those are known as trophy whitetail destinations, but the cold hard facts, <laughs> the cold hard facts here um, is that there's not actually large numbers of deer statewide although there may be very deer thick locales within each one of those states. And no offense to North Dakota, but it's widely known the winters there are absolute hellscapes, so it's not surprising to see such low deer numbers. North Dakota has only 150,000 deer in the entire state for two deer per square mile overall. So there's definitely some great deer hunting to be had in the Midwest, especially if you're going after really big bucks, big bodied and big antlered. And overall, the Midwest has 10.3 million deer, so we're finally getting into some, some pretty hefty population. And again, the lowest population is North Dakota with 150,000 and only two deer per square mile. Um, Nebraska, Iowa, and South Dakota also have fairly low populations, but again, there's going to be some very deer-dense areas in some of those states. Um, and then your best bets are Michigan, Wisconsin, and Missouri. Each one of those states has well over a million deer. Michigan has two million deer, and they all have 20 or more deer per square mile. But if you're more interested in just tagging out and filling the freezer, there is no better place to go than the South. The southern region of the United States has by far the highest deer population of any other region in the country. In fact, 51% of the entire United States deer herders in the South. And the South's deer population sits at around 18.8 .8 million deer. That's nearly double the population of the entire Midwest. So let's look at the numbers. Not a single red light, and there's actually more green states than every other region combined. Leading the pack population-wise is Texas, 5.5 million deer statewide. That's nearly triple the state with the next most deer, which happens to be Michigan in the Midwest at 2 million. But Texas is a huge state with several unique geographic regions, some of which are much better deer habitat than others, which nearly knocks it out of the green and into the yellow density-wise. But being a native Texan myself, I can tell you certain areas of the state have way more deer, and if you were to just disconsider the entire western half of Texas, we'd probably be closer to 30 deer per square mile than 20. Now the real stars of the show are the geographically much smaller but much more deer-dense states, of Mississippi, Alabama, and Kentucky. Each of those three states has over 25 deer per square mile, and Mississippi comes in at the densest of any state with 36 deer per square mile. That's insane. So why is the South so deer heavy? Now first, much of the South is heavily forested. There's also a whole lot of farmland. Also, winters aren't very harsh at all. But perhaps the biggest reason there's so many deer in the South is that deer hunting in the South is really, really big business, especially in Texas. And if there's anything that drives anything in the United States, it's capitalism. According to the Texas Farm Bureau, deer hunting in Texas accounts for almost $1 billion annually in salaries and wages earned directly related to deer hunting. And that doesn't even account for second and third order economic effects, which would likely push the effect of deer hunting into the multi-billion dollars annually in Texas alone. And so a quick synopsis of the South again, 18.8 um, .8 million deer for the entire region. 
The lowest population belongs to Delaware, which I know a lot of people don't consider that the South, but we're using census regions because that's the best information that I've got, rather than get into arguing about what's the South and what's not. Um, and Delaware's only got 45,000 deer in it, but it has 18 deer per square mile, so it's, it's not that bad. It's a small state, but the deer actually are fairly dense. Um, besides that, Maryland, again, not, you know, not the South, whatever. 217,000 deer, but 17 per square mile. Then you get to Louisiana, and it's got 500,000 deer, which I thought was a little bit low. Um, and it only comes in at 10 deer per square mile. But then I thought about it, it's kind of a misnomer, these numbers for Louisiana, because a huge portion of that state is swamp. It's covered in water. So if you were to sort of exclude all the water area in Louisiana, which you know, you're not gonna be deer hunting there anyways, the density is probably actually quite a bit higher in terms of just land area. Um, I know there's a lot of good deer hunting in Louisiana. So when I saw those numbers, I had to put some, you know, deeper thought into it. And, and I think the numbers just looking at it alone are a little bit misleading for Louisiana. And the same really could be said for Florida. Uh, Florida's got 700,000 deer and it's only 11 deer per square mile. But just like Louisiana, there's a lot of water, a lot of swamp. So there's a lot of just not inhabited area in that state as well. So if you were to exclude like Lake Okeechobee and all the other swamps, your deer density is probably going to be a lot higher than 11. And then I want to hit on Oklahoma real quick as well, because the numbers are, again, kind of misleading. Oklahoma has only got 750,000 deer, 11 deer per square mile. But a lot of the state, like the whole northwest portion of it, it's not really conducive deer habitat. It's not the greatest habitat. Um, I know like the eastern third of the state and down along the Red River on the south are absolutely loaded with deer. But there are big sections of Oklahoma that just aren't that conducive to high populations of deer. So the numbers are a little bit misleading there. If you go to the right spots in Oklahoma, you're going to have an absolutely incredible hunt. And again, Mississippi's got the highest deer density um, in the entire United States at 36 per square mile. And Texas just, sorry, it just reigns supreme. Five and a half million deer just pulling out all the stops. And if you were to exclude the western half of the state, it'd probably be up over 30 deer per square mile. So if you wanna fill as many tags as humanly possible, head on down south. If you want a trophy whitetail for the wall, the Midwest might be your best bet. And if you want a challenge, the Northeast or the West are where you wanna be. And check out my leather shop if you'd like something handmade by me, just for you. The link is in the pinned comment. I'd love to make you something. Thanks for watching.